Hello everyone, welcome to The Social Club. We're back this week, we're back up north. Um, for all the new viewers who tuned in after last week, uh, who clamoured to see the fit one on the show again this week. Yeah, we got James. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> that really cute one that mm. went down so well. Like, James, his name's James, just use his name. Um, anyway, we're name? kicking off the show this week talking about Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Sergio Aguero. Uh, apparently... Zlatan Ibrahimovic has completed the requirements for a one-year contract extension at Manchester United, but there's been no talk about whether that option will be taken up. And on the Man City side of things, Sergio Aguero, Guardiola has admitted that he's not in his first team. He's not basically in his best eleven at the moment. He, prefer, he thinks that Sane, Gabriel Jesus, and Raheem Sterling are providing something more than it, the kind of thing he's looking for, which means Aguero is the next option to come in there which prompts the question of Sergio Aguero could well be looking for a new football club come the summer so I want to gauge the opinions of the people in the room James I'll start with you um, on the Aguero stuff first and foremost we've done a lot of talk about uh, on Redmen about like a top striker buying a top striker what <laughs> Sergio Aguero is Pound for pound, the top striker, the best yeah. striker. If not, like he's up there within the world. I would say almost certainly in the Premier League. How, why on earth would you would you not would you make him available for transfer? Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's it feels like a lot of hyperbole over uh, Jesus. Jesus, I don't know how you're supposed to say his name. I'm going to go with Jesus. 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 <laughs> Flav says apparently it's just Jesus, so I'm going to go with Jesus. Okay. Um, that he's obviously come in and he's he's been great, um, but Aguero's your guy. He's like he's the he's the best he's the best striker in the Premier League by a distance. I think because but the the fact that he's maybe not I don't know training hard enough or Jesus has had a couple of good games and, and got a couple of goals doesn't mean you can. I know. <laughs> I think people are going well over the top on this. Yeah. I think he's awesome, and I think if you. If you get rid of him and you've got to rely on, on Jesus and Ian Acho, then that's suicide. Yeah. I think that's absolute suicide. Yeah, what do you reckon, what do you reckon uh, yeah, Would you take a punt on Aguero in the summer? He's usually going to be cash rich, right? <laughs> well, we are cash rich. I don't know, would he get in above Valencia? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, listen, Aguero, we, you know, we've got one of the top scorers in the Premier League, you know, in Lukaku, but Aguero's, for me, is a different level. He's up there with... Suarez and Messi and Neymar as, yeah. as them can he's on that kind of level. Um I believe his name's Jesus, not Jesus, but well, if he's call got, him whatever you he's want. He's Brazilian, right? He's got three. And Brazilians three, by the way. speak Portuguese and the Portuguese pronounce the it'd be Jose, otherwise like in Mourinho, so it's mm. Jose, so it should be J it should be Jesus. Bloody hell, so we've got three different we've ones. We've got all different. That okay. kid they've you know got we're Gabriel about. Gabriel. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Gabriel. Yeah. Let's <laughs> doing really well. Yeah. Nah, he's obviously had a brilliant start, a three and three, hasn't he, or something like that. He was fantastic. He played five minutes in the first game of didn't he? He's, he's had three appearances. He scored oh, three right. goals, Liam. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> city player, for Well, he could player. say three goals in two and uh, two and, 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 and a five bit makes him even better. Yeah. But uh, he's obviously started really well. But Aguero's the man you, you go to, yeah. isn't he? All the time, done it year after year after year. And I seen Pep saying at the moment he's not. You know, we're, we're working better with this front three rather than Sergio. But I, I still can't believe Man City going to allow him to walk out the door in the summer. I don't. Yeah. I just. Can't see it. We said the same about about Guardiola when he was at Barcelona and he got rid of Ronaldinho and he got rid of Ibrahimovic as mm. well at Barcelona, yeah, he did didn't he? And look at the start of this year, he did the same with Joe Hart. He's got a reputation for, I don't like you, so you're not going to play, regardless of how good you are. Who you are. And I mean, in terms of Ibrahimovic and Ronaldinho, maybe not so much Ronaldinho, but definitely Zlatan, it's come back to bite him in the arse over a period of how many years? Mm. All, all, all bit that Messi is a I'm not sure he'll be arsed, like. All bit that Messi's not probably okay. the best player he's, of all time. Yeah, like, but yeah. I mean, also it's quite not good without him. Yeah, I know, but come on, it's not like there's, there, he's getting rid of shite players that were surplus mm. to requirements. He's like, but all of them, including Joe Hart, look how that's turned out, are great players. I think if, if he wants to get rid of Aguero, brilliant, sell him. I was obviously speaking as a Man United fan. Because he's the best striker between him and Suarez, he's the best number the nine in the world. I think the only thing on this, on the Aguero thing, Liverpool, as always, I'll always bring it back to Liverpool because the only footy I watch. Um, <laughs> similar situations that Liverpool have got with Daniel Sturridge and some of them. Aguero much better than Daniel Sturridge, and he, even when he, they've had similar injury problems, Aguero's still been able to come in and score. You know, he's still a one and yeah. two centre forward whenever he, whenever he, he plays. He missed like three months of last year, didn't he? Yeah. He was still up there with his top goal exactly, scorers. Like. Exactly, exactly. Aguero is my, my favourite centre forward in the Premier League yeah. by a mile. But we've got the issue with, with Daniel Sturridge, and I think this is the issue they've got with Sergio Aguero, is that he doesn't 
he doesn't naturally fit what he wants from that that position. This is the thing that, that on paper, and we're, we're going to be talking about Rangers in a bit about, and, and, and I think a lot of us, a lot of us, we play, we play, we play chap man or footy manager and all that. And we've got the experience of it. You'd be looking on paper and go, God, just stick Sergio Aguero up front. There's thirty goals, sort of Daniel Sturridge similarly, but. If they don't fit what you're looking for, you'd undermine everything else that you're trying to you're trying to do in a in a, in a team. And if one guy's not pulling his weight, that's a that could have a corrosive effect on the, what you're trying it's to true. do for the, the guys around yeah. it. And particularly when you've got very very young players again, when you've got Leroy Sané and, and Raheem Sterling, who, who are still, we're seeing how impressionable Sterling is. Christ, um, <laughs> you know it's not exactly going to be. You know you want someone up there working their absolute bollocks off. You don't have to be, but you don't have to be an absolute brain box to see he's guaranteed thirty goals a year, guaranteed. He's just that good. You put him into any team on the planet, and he'd score you thirty goals. I, c- yeah. I completely agree with you. One thing I would say is that this is Man City; they have a lot of money, yeah. So they can get a Bama Yang who they've been flirting with yeah, for a long time. It's not like time. they're going to leave a, a hole yeah. in that squad. It's not like, in the summer yeah, exactly. Like, you know. um, no, so yeah, I mean, I guess my, my original point of like you'd be left with Ianacho and and Gabriel. Um, it wouldn't, would it? They'd get someone else who would who would do that do yeah. that job. Um, but I just think he's awesome. Yeah. He's so good. He's so deadly. And I, there's question marks apparently about the way that he trains sometimes. But on the pitch, he, I, I get the feeling that he works hard most of the time. Did, I mean, I think. I mean, I think the thing is with Pep in terms of if that's his style. And that's what he's seeing. They, they've kind of just got to go right over to you, do what you want. He's not weak, is he? Looking and going, Aguero's a fan's favourite. He's this, that. But there's got to come a point where players are that good that you do have to think, do we really want to let him out the door? Well, he doesn't care, though. Look at him, that much too hard at the start of the year. Yeah, I know, know, but, no, but, no, but also, but also think about it, but, you know, Aguero, he's. He's just about at the peak of his powers, mm, still, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, yeah. you've yeah, got, uh, he, but he's and he's still a very injury po- injury prone player. He does score goals when he plays, yeah. but you can't if you, you've got a, you know, you want to shoot for the moon. You want to have your cake and eat it, don't you? You actually want a guy who scores those goals, but play can play fifty games a season. Which you know what I mean. When you've got Man City's money, isn't a ridiculous thing to ask for. Mm-hmm. When you're shopping a bit further down the pecking order, maybe that's like you know, God, why would you be asking for so many things? Maybe you've got to take a few gambles. But there could be that. You could be looking at it and thinking, well, look at Gabriel Jesus. This he's, he's young. I can build him. I can mould him. He's got his be- all of his best years definitely yeah. still in front of him. How long has Aguero got left on his contract? You know, I actually don't know. No, I didn't know that. He no signed a new contract. Was it last no year? No. Two, yeah. or th- <laughs> <laughs> still still two or three, three, three years. Because he said yeah. whenever he finishes with City, he's going back to Argentina in the Taran. Yeah. Mm. So I don't Fergie. know. Was he going to be prepared to sit on the bench for the next three years? If no. that, I mean, it's only been what four or five games. But I think they're saying they they've said. They're happy to keep him. Obviously, you yeah. know they're not looking. They're not looking to move him on. Yeah. But he's told. He's telling Aguero. At the, you know, if it stays like this, if those three guys continue to perform, you will always be on the bench. So that's up to you how yeah. you want to take the, how you want to proceed with that. Because and he says, you know, buying top quality centre forwards is not an easy, not the, an easy thing to the do. The other thing he's not going to change is he's not going to go. I'll play him and Jesus up front. We'll go fourth or three yeah. five two. Yeah. He's going to play with that fourth. Well, let's let's move it on quickly then yeah. on the Zlatan thing. And obviously, Liam, you're a United fan. You do some stuff in United People's TV. If Man United opted not to take the contract extension the, on Zlatan's contract and he moved on in the summer, how would you feel about that? A bit gutted. I think he's been the best signing of, across the Premier League. Simply because he was free. This year? This year, this season, yeah. Uh, no matter what happens, whether he, whether he plays another year or not, we need another centre forward. Because at the minute, we don't have one. No matter, Aguero, I, I, Anthony Martial. He's not a centre forward. He he's not an out and out number nine striker, is he? You've got Martial, Rashford. They're not Rooney. out and out strikers, though. Mourinho's playing them as wingers. They're, they're not a, at a, the a, moment because Ibrahimovic is up front. No, man, I, I disagree. I think, I think Mourinho, Mourinho has him in that mould. He doesn't have another striker. To be striker. fair, Martial is not a Mourinho. But look, if you look, if you look at Mourinho's, Mourinho's teams he's had before, he's always had that big, massive target man yeah, up top, hasn't he? He had Drogba with Chelsea. Ibrahimovic is exactly the same. So we, if Ibrahimovic isn't there, he'd have someone else come in. I think we need to buy another one anyway because I don't think we have anyone in our squad in that kind of mould of big target man centre forward where the other guys are probably Peter I mean, Crouch would be going cheap this <laughs> 100 Premier League goals yeah, though but, but uh, I personally would love to see him there again yeah, 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 yeah waiting for you to we always help them out you know we needed the goal of poor lad and uh, we, we obliged Liam championship manager right you got yeah. indispensable to the club first team player where is where is Ibrahimovic in that is he indispensable it changes from week to week I think depending on the, all the rest of the injuries. Where is he this week? 
indispensable. Okay. I think next week could be different. I, th- I don't know. I mean, he, I think he's been fantastic. He's been unbelievable. United. I'd he's love to see him there for a year. Goals. 20, 20. 20 goals. You know, we come in for nothing. People were raising an eyebrow. He's come in. He's been brilliant. I seen him at Goodison. He looked like he was And I tell you what, could, was it against fantastic. was it against Hull? No, maybe it wasn't Hull Stoke. Or no, but, uh, what do you call him? Burnley at home when he should have scored about four or five, only for Heaton and goal. Mm. Made some unbelievable saves. He could be on 25, 26. <laughs> <laughs> he really? Yeah. It, you know that's unheard of. For how was he? Thirty five. Thirty five. That's unbelievable. I think that that's the thing. I, we know what Zlatan's like, though. He won't he won't be asked. He'll go to another club only. He'll <laughs> yeah. get another yeah. three hundred grand a week play for someone else. He'll take a punt on him for one more year or two more years or whatever. Wait, I, I remember I, sitting here a year ago having this conversation with you before Ibrahimovic was even at United. Is this where you highlight the fact that I thought he wasn't you very good? You thought he was terrible. You were like, I wouldn't have him at my club. Every, I can't remember who else was on the panel that day, but you said, yeah. no, everyone else agreed with me. He was absolutely brilliant. He'd be, he'd, he'd, like, if you yeah, look at his record... He'd, he'd have been he'd, terrible for us. It's just, <laughs> it's just how it works. Like, you know what I mean? like we Liverpool with had Cristiano Ronaldo lined up as a kid and we refused to pay the fee. If we'd signed Cristiano Ronaldo, he wouldn't be the Ronaldo. He'd be he shit shop. He'd have been That's shit. <laughs> we'd have, we'd have <laughs> Loan. Exactly. We have loaned him out to some Serie A team. <laughs> <laughs> a bag of balls, like yeah, exactly. Like no, I, 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 I've seen, I haven't seen Zlatan with my own two eyes. This season, I've been really impressed. I think he's, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's good. He? he does. Yeah, yeah, he's all right, isn't he? He's he's not bad. If only there'd been evidence of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I think it depends again on Man United's structure. Depend. It, it, can they, if they can afford to, if they want to phase him out, if he wants to be. Phased out. I don't know. You know, because don't phase out. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's a really intriguing point. You say the way Mourinho plays because I can't. Well, you so, the other guys he's got there. He that's there's not another guy who plays in that style. No, no. Uh, Griezmann's the guy that you link with. He's not that guy. He's no, five he's not foot eight. At all, yeah. So. I think he is indispensable Could because be Mourinho. The next Niall Quinn and Kevin Phillips. Couldn't they? Yeah. That next season. Big man, little man. But I think you need him. You need him for another year because there's no one else. There's no one else about. No, like, you'd, no, want to, you'd want no him to bring someone along, wouldn't you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you get get the next Zlatan. There's no such thing as the next Zlatan, but you get someone else who does a, a reasonable facsimile of that job, yeah. and you go go and train with Zlatan for a year, mate. And See, I, I think I think he'll stay. I think he's done well enough. He's gonna score another probably half a dozen goals. We've seen now in the end of the season. He's got a cup final coming up. Wouldn't put it past him to score the winner in the cup yeah. final because that's what he I does. I think it all hinges where we finish top four. Not. I think he wants one more crack at the European Cup. That's a good point. Actually. And then and then kind of wait and see what happens. And the goal ultimately, he's going to go back to Sweden, back to Malmo. The goals haven't come it's from pace, have they? So nothing's going to change. He's still going to be six foot five. Still going to have a great touch. Yeah. It's just more. I mean, I know he's he's a, like a karate master or whatever. Like, but you know, you, it's it's all the other bits, isn't it? The the, the go when you get to your mid thirties. As a few people in this room know. I mean, do, you, do you not think that Martial's got? The power to be a, a, a centre forward. I said when at the minute he joined, when he scored that goal against Liverpool, I thought that he was going to be a, a fantastic number nine, and he was never been played there. So and that doesn't mean he can't do it. Can doesn't mean he can't do it. But he's, I, can opinion, he play back to goal? In my opinion, yeah, he, he can, can. Yeah, if I, you have, if you have, especially if you have Griezmann or if you have Mata in that mould, put, to put the ball right the back of the defenders. Just, 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 just look at what look at, for me. I was look at what Mourinho did at Chelsea with Anelka. And he basically had Anelka playing on the wing yeah, because he yeah. had Drogba there. Yeah. Whenever Drogba was injured, Anelka would play centre forward and score goals. Yeah. But the second Drogba's back, back out you go, mate. Yeah, he, has a, he has a format that he plays. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, but so like, just, like just, just said before, James, when you're thinking, who is there who could come in and, and play that role? Because even like you like to be in link with like Lukaku or people yeah. like normally Lukaku can't play that role. He's a runner. Yeah. So when you're trying to think about around world football, who can do that? Well, Giroud that can do it, but would Arsenal? Is Jan Collar these days? That'd be amazing. Jan Collar. Oliver Bierhoff is he still going? Collar. He's the man. Collar. Seventy foot tall. And Kevin Francis. What about him? But back to what you were saying there, Baz, about how old is there? Well, we didn't know. No one knew who Drogba was before. No, well, that's it. You're having to charity. look around yeah, that. That's the job for the scouts. We all know Mourinho's brilliant at bringing in unknown players for on the cheap and building them into world. No, no, hang on. That's not Playing loads of youth teams. No, 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 that never happened. Either, <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the list they came up with at the start of the season about the 26 players? Apparently, they introduced it's 26 or whatever stupid number it was that he introduced of youth team players he brought through, and you would probably recognise one name on the list. Okay. Really, and I was like, "How is that bringing you?" It's like Rafa Benitez still about the what great state he's left Liverpool in, and he, he name checked Diego Cavalieri as <laughs> even the goalkeeper situation <laughs> spot on there. Good one, Raf. You probably should have drawn a line on that list there. I mean, Fair as much as I love him, you link with Arsenal. 
the last couple of days. <laughs> sure, Rafa. why not? Um, <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, honestly. If Arsene goes, yeah. Interesting. Uh, well, we will be talking about Arsene Wenger and whether he should have his contract renewed on the next on the next video, so stay tuned for that if you want to. Uh, you should want to, because it'll be boss. And if you don't want to, there's probably something wrong with you. Um, anyway, <laughs> if you want to watch more great content, Bosses FC, <laughs> we took on Creators FC, that's AG, AJ3 and a whole host of other FIFA YouTubers that I'm too old to really understand, but they, they were quite good at footy. And so are we. Watch those videos now. There's one on the Ball Street YouTube channel and there's one over on uh, AJ3's channel as well, James. Watch our one. Oh, obviously watch our one. <laughs> then, then and then go and watch it. Cause we'll, if you've got the time. Cause, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, but prioritise ours. Yeah? And then check back with more social club. <laughs>